I'm a big fan of Tomodachi Life. I've collected all the interiors, gotten various trophies, and deleted my save data multiple times. I sure look like a liar right now. So I looked on icebergcharts.com to see if there were any Dominacci Life icebergs. The only one I could find, however, had six entries, was unlisted, and hasn't been worked on since September last year. So I made my own iceberg with 76 entries at good quality while also listed on the main page. And I've made this video to explain it all to you for those people who just want to consume everything in the iceberg and then never look at it again. If you don't know what an iceberg chart is, it's a chart featuring an iceberg in the background containing different knowledge of a particular media franchise that gets more obscure and creepy the deeper you go, until you hit the bottom with all that juicy knowledge. But with all that rambling out of the way, time for me to stop talking. And then start talking again about the iceberg, that's the focus of, of this video. Smash Bros. Stage In Super Smash Bros. for 3DS, as well as Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, there is a stage called Tomodachi Life, where the fighters fight on top of the Mii Apartments building, as well as inside it. Mii News Mii News is Tomodachi Life's news outlet, regularly bringing strange and funny news reports, none of which have an effect on gameplay. Unfortunately. Vine Sauce. Vine Sauce is a YouTuber that has done a very popular Let's Play of Tomodachi Life that is able to bring the game closer to the adult demographic, which would have otherwise just ignored it. Children. After marriage, one of the two me's will ask for your insight on them having a baby. Depending on the response, the couple will have a child who will live with the couple until they are old enough to move out. At this point, you get to decide if they get to become a traveler for Street Pass, or if they get to move to the apartment block. Concert Hall The Concert Hall is a location in Tomodachi Life that allows you to write your own songs for your means to sing, with the freedom of allowing very strange songs to be posted on the internet. Dreams Dreams are a mechanic in Tomodachi Life where, when your me falls asleep, you can take a look into their mind and see what they're dreaming. It can get pretty weird sometimes. Marriage When two me's are dating and relationship status is high enough, one me can propose to the me they're dating. Afterwards, a wedding cutscene plays, and the two Mies moved in together in a house. This also allows for the Mies to have children. Crack Ships According to the Urban Dictionary, a crack ship is a relationship between two media characters that is insanely unlikely. Due to Tomodachi Life's relationship system, there is no limit to how ridiculous a relationship can be. Catchphrases Like the concert hall, catchphrases allow you to make your me say whatever you want, but only this time they do so when you visit their apartment at specific times. Poofisher Poofisher was another YouTuber that made another adult Tonachi Life series, but this time, a bit more modern. Tomodachi Life Direct, April 10th, 2014 This was a special Nintendo Direct made to show off Tomodachi Life's features in detail, with extra comedy being put in as well, some of which is pretty weird.
Miitopia. Miitopia was a role-playing game starring Miis that was originally released for the 3DS in 2017. It got a re-release for the Nintendo Switch in 2021, with fans hoping that Tomodachi Life could be next. Best slash worst ever foods. If you give a me what it thinks is the best slash worst ever food, then with the second best food, the me will dance. With the best ever food, the me will launch into space. With the second worst food, the me will kneel and turn their head away from the camera, seemingly to barf. And with the worst ever food, the me will slowly melt into a pile of mud. Padding Me's When inside a me's apartment, you have the ability to rub the me's head. If you do this for long enough, you will get a small amount of happiness for your me. Gay Marriage There was a whole controversy about Nintendo not including gay marriage in Todachi Life, with the end result being that they would include it in future installments. Beauty Kit can be used by anyone. The Beauty Kit is a level up gift that allows the user to apply makeup, do their nails, etc. Since there is no limitation with who you can give this item to, one can give it to a boy me for a Many different reasons. Bird. This bird lets out a calling sound during the evening, being interpreted as many things. Here, take a listen. X and Y buttons take screenshots of the top and bottom screens respectively. This one's pretty self-explanatory. The game takes a photo of whatever is on the screen at the time, saves it to the SD card, and then you can view it in the Photoshop, or by ripping the image files from the SD card. Mitomo. Mitomo was a mobile app similar to Tomodachi Life, but also different in many ways, like relationships being impossible. It was discontinued on 2018 due to a gradual decrease in turnout. Street Pass. Tomodachi Life takes advantage of the 3DS Street Pass feature by allowing your island to export a specific kind of clothing and to receive imports from other islands from people you walk past in real life. It also allows you to send and receive travelers. I'm sorry. A me has the ability to reject another me confessing their love to them. Usually by saying the phrase, I'm sorry, in an echoey tone. The confessing me will then fall into a depressed state, where their blue happiness bar needs to be brought back to zero in order for them to level up again. Tomodachi Collection Tomodachi Collection was a prequel to Tomodachi Life, released on the DS only in Japan. Many features didn't make it into Tomodachi Life, such as the Question Hall, while others remained only in the Japanese version of Tomodachi Life. A port to the West was attempted, but ended in failure due to not getting the text-to-speech engine to work properly. Golden Interior the most expensive interior in the game, the golden interior costs $20,000 and can only be bought once one of your Miis reaches level 20. Everything in the golden interior is made out of solid gold, and it's one of the last goals the player has to strive for in Tomodachi life, like getting a perfect town in Animal Crossing. Shack Me there was an official Shack Me created by Nintendo and distributed via QR code. In fact, you can actually still download it today. I'll put the QR code on the screen. Me's True Size Many of the Me news reports depict large creatures and objects that seem to hint at the idea that Me's are actually very small. Possibly even the size of Pikmin. Clock 
Clothing gender differences. Some clothing, particularly those that expose the chest area, are covered up when worn by girls for pretty obvious reasons. The compatibility tester has no effect on gameplay. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It has no effect on gameplay. Moving on. Spot Pass. Spot Pass allows you to send data to Nintendo for feedback, with the bonus of getting exclusive costumes that aren't being distributed anymore. The island outside of the main island is called Leisure Island. Yes, this is an actual canon thing confirmed by the Mii News reports, yet no one ever calls it that and just groups both islands into one island. Divorce If the relationship status between two Mii's is low enough, there is potential for one of them to break up, or one can either just tell them to break up, in which the Mii tells their lover they just want to be friends, or you can tell them to work it out, which has a somewhat small chance of succeeding. Both options, unless working it out succeeds, leaves both needs depressed. British Tomodachi Life Ads there are some ads for the British version of Tomodachi Life that feature real-life people being transformed into Mii's. There's definitely some Mii material there. Tomodachi Collection gets mad at you if you turn off the power without saving. If you turn the power off without saving and then boot the game back up again, you'll get a Mii News alert condemning you for cutting the power off without saving. <laughs> Move in version. The move in version of Tomodachi Life is a special demo that comes with every retail copy of Tomodachi Life in the form of two download codes, with the intent of giving a download code to a friend so that they can try the game and want to buy it for themselves. Excellent point, Nintendo. Welcome version. See the move-in version, it's the European equivalent to that. Question Hall This is one of two buildings exclusive to Tomodachi Collection, and also the Tomodachi Collection equivalent to both Quirky Questions and Judgment Bay. But in fact, it also does not look like a hall at all. Glitches there are various glitches within Tomodachi Life, some of them are very creepy. Some of them are also being shown on your screen. Overall Regional Differences Honestly, I'd be here all day talking about the regional differences, but I don't want to be here all day, so just watch the video linked in the description. I'll still be mentioning the more notable ones later down the iceberg, however. Job Diagnosis a job diagnosis is a building exclusive to Tomodachi Collection that allows you to put your means through a job diagnosis, with the end result being an image of someone doing some kind of job with the me you select its head on the person doing the job. Familiar Dream This dream is Japanese exclusive and the gift you gain from it is a cartridge of Tonachi Collection. Trophies the trophies are treasures that only ever appear in your collection that you get from achieving certain milestones. There are five trophies in all. The plastic trophy, which you don't get from achieving anything, but rather from the game like a regular treasure, 
the bronze trophy, which is obtained from solving 200 Islander problems, the silver trophy, which is obtained from solving 400 Islander problems, the gold trophy, which is obtained from solving 700 Islander problems, and lastly, the platinum trophy, which is obtained from solving 1,000 Islander problems. All of these, with the exception of the plastic trophy, are never obtained in your inventory and can only be ever viewed in your collection. Creepy Pastas Various creepy pastas surrounding Tomodachi life, such as Tomodachi Death and Dying Happy, have appeared. And they certainly are creepy pastas. Korean version. The Korean version of Tomodachi Life has many differences compared to all other versions, and it is hard to collect data on it. So it remains an enigma in the Tomodachi Life community. Roku Rokubi. A freaky dream in Tomodachi Collection where the dreaming me is seen in a room and their neck can be extendable to stylus. I feel like it's like the most creepy dream out of both Tomodachi Collection and Tomodachi Life. Just something about it. Hanging References In the Japanese version of Tomodachi Life, the dreams Backpack and Stick Figure have lines connecting to the necks of the Mies seen in those dreams. This was changed outside of Japan due to it potentially resembling people being hung. Olympian Skydiver Implied Death In the Japanese version of the Olympian Skydiver Me News broadcast, it is implied that the falling me just fell into the ground, as opposed to being rescued by a trampoline meant for someone else. Bunny Suit The Japanese and Korean version of this game has the Playboy Bunny Girl outfit as a clothing apparel that can be purchased in its clothing store. This doesn't exist in the Western version of the game due to obvious reasons. Golden Spoon The Golden Spoon is much like a trophy in which it is obtained after achieving a certain milestone and can only be viewed in your collection. It is an item obtained from treating your islanders 1,000 times. Serious dedication. Corrupted Knees When using an emulator to run to an actual life, sometimes the knees won't have their face data remembered, and their heads are replaced with orange squares with no signs on them. Repetition Once you've played to an actual life for long enough, you start to notice something. Knees start repeating dialogue, repeating problems, repeating everything. Now, it's obvious why, right? The Mies are slaves. They follow your every command. You can humiliate them as much as you'd like, and they don't fight against you. You can feed them nothing but ruined food and banana peels, not a peep. You can even tell them to move off the island, and they listen. The Mies are a race from existence when they move out. When you see a me move out, they just poof away, boom, gone forever. No one can even remember them. Adeline A song used in the Japanese OST of the game that was believed to be the theme of a miscarriage. And then it turned out to just be a theme of a little friendship ring, so yeah, there's that. Korean version exclusive dreams There are three exclusive dreams to the Korean version of Tomodachi Life. The fan dance dream, the pig chase dream, and the bungee jump dream. The last one is actually a returning dream from Tomodachi Collection. The only one out of the entire game. The island is able to operate without power. Seriously. 
There's no power plant, no wind turbines, no solar panels, and yet there's electricity everywhere. There is no new news building, only a communications tower. Where is new news being hosted? There is no agriculture or mines. How does the island get its natural resources without these two critical institutions? Imports, possibly. Hey, do you feel like someone's watching us? This is a line of dialogue a driving me can say during the drive dream. Maybe it's just a fourth wall break. Or maybe it's something else. I mean, we've all had that feeling before, haven't we? Foods are alive. When you complete food from a frying pan, one of the titles is freshly caught, implying that all the food is actually alive in some way. The true love dream shows that Mies know the food is alive, and yet they eat it anyways. Location of Me Island Based off the location of a me when first leaving the atmosphere, when you feed that me their super all-time favorite food, mouthful I know, the me island is somewhere around the northern territories of Canada. How it's still so temperate, I will get to later. Rotation of the world Again Based off of the super old-time favorite view of the world, we see it rotating in the completely wrong direction. Instead of rotating horizontally across the equator, it seems to be rotating vertically in a line crossing through America. Me News is hosted in the office. This could explain why every me can be the news anchor. It could be how they broadcast. The other islands don't exist. If all islands are in the same location, how are there other islands for your island to interact with? Where on earth do the travelers you send possibly go, and the clothing you receive possibly come from? Anti-piracy screen. If you pirate Tomodachi life and then go to buy food, you will only find some memory me parts for sale. Not the only description being, I, I, I'm, I'm kidding, the entry is actually about a fake anti-piracy screen that a fan made. Uh, check it out, it's a nice change of pace from the other usual creepy stuff. The Mies do not know where they live. The unbelievable dream does show the means face flying up of them into space, where the Earth makes one super fast rotation before the means face goes back into the means head. This shows that the means do not know where they live, and might not know because they are so small. The travel ticket locations are not real. Ever noticed how the backgrounds of the travel locations are just static images? Or how there's only a couple of them for each country when you look on the wiki? Or how you don't see the means do anything besides just take photos on the trip? Or even how the means are too small to hold any of the souvenirs to see this timestamp for details? It could just be because of hardware limitations, yes, but maybe it could also be because the destinations are just backgrounds at some kind of photoshop. These are too small, again, this time soon, to actually appreciate these monuments on their full scale. I mean, think about it. The script says, or oh, maybe it's something more sinister, but that, that's, that's, that's just some stupid thing I wrote earlier.
internal project name. Tomodachi Life's internal project name is just simply clone. Could this mean that perhaps Tomodachi Life was planned to be something far less ambitious? Underwater Mining The island mines underwater to get metals used to make things without disturbing living space. The town hall is a power plant. It may sound crazy, but hear me out. You never ever see what's inside. Just a bunch of menu options that could be managed elsewhere. And the town hall being a geothermal plant would help provide electricity for the island. Electricity that seems to be sourced from nowhere else. You are a dictator. You are the island's dictator. You come into their apartment, demand certain things of them, and then leave. Whenever you tell them you need to move out and they poof away, they don't move out. They're executed off screen. Why do you think moving out costs $21? And once they move out, you command that none of the other islanders even mention that person again. Off screen. An unused flat plane sporting a texture with a white body and a blue loop on top of it. It's the only unused model of its kind. What could have been its use? Tomodachi life is a fishing scam. You fill out your me with what you look like, your age, your favorite color, your full name, your gender, and in the Japanese versions, even your blood type. Why? It's because they're stealing your data. Even your personality, which is based off of a real personality test. Everything about you. Why do you think the game lets you send data to Nintendo for analysis? Somewhere on Nintendo headquarters, they have a database of everyone who plays their games, and everyone said game players know. Just think about what they can do with that information. The world was hit by an asteroid. An asteroid so powerful, mind you, that it managed to completely throw the rotation of the planet off course. Such a powerful asteroid would have to be hundreds of times more powerful than the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs. An asteroid so powerful it would have killed all of humanity for sure. An asteroid so powerful that the only survivors were the ones too small to care. An asteroid so powerful it heated the planet to the point where the equator was a deserted wasteland, and the only temperate climates lay within the Arctic Circle. An asteroid so powerful, it melted the polar ice caps. A true extinction event. All non-seafood is synthetic. It could be a possible explanation for how the island can survive without any visible agriculture. The other islands are just a manufacturing plant. A manufacturing plant a fair distance away from the island so that the smog it produces can't reach the island. It provides newly created clothing at different times, and sometimes it sends ambassadors to travel to your island for feedback and development of new clothing. And when you send travelers off to the other islands, they just become another employee at the plant. 
when you can send your main clothes export to the other islands, you're just sending materials to make new clothing. I mean, you never get to see what's inside the box you ship to the other islands, do you? Unused data was expunged to save memory. The game could have been bloated before release. Needed to cut unnecessary features in order to make the game fit within the 4GB SD card that came with the 3DS without hogging too much space. So they deleted their unused data en masse. The only survivors being a couple textures and models small enough to be disregarded. Who knows what that unused data could have looked like. Can I stop at the narrating a scary story voice now? Oh, okay, cool. <clears throat> so, that was the iceberg. I guess the only thing to do now is to come back up to the surface. So, uh, let's do that. YouTubers and their videos again. Oh yeah. This video took a really long time to make, and I don't mean that as in I just put in so much effort into it. Rather, I mean it as in I procrastinated a lot. <laughs> so, burn me all you want for that. Uh, the reason I didn't mention the other two iceberg videos on YouTube is because I was making this chart mainly for people like myself who saw those videos and were like, that's not enough, I want to know more! So, let me know what you thought in the comments. Do you have better theories than those I proposed in the last couple layers? You probably do, so tell anyone in the comments about it. Also make sure to check the credits document in the pinned comment and description to find out where I stole all those images and videos and stuff from. And with that, I guess I'll see myself out. Till next time, everybody. The same hat.